Today we're going to be working Lightroom 3 and I want to breathe a little bit of life back into this image. It's really lifeless as you can see the uh, the sky is really drab and dreary. It was shot at Yellowstone National Park about four years ago on an overcast day and uh, I was really amazed at how well the graduated filter brought this image back to life. With just a couple quick easy steps I ended up with this result which I think looks ten times better than the original. Back to the original and then back to the finished product. Basically I used two filters uh, off the graduated filter panel. One for the top to darken the sky and then one to bring some life and color back into the bottom here. So let's go and get started. I'm going to go back to the original and we'll come back up on the panel here and you can see this is a graduated filter and if you press M on the keyboard that's a shortcut it'll bring it up. I'm going to come over to about a third of the way down to the image. I'm going to drag this down. You can drag and move the filter around however you see fit. Basically it's just a gradation from the top to the bottom. We'll come back over to the panel and you can see we've got our exposure, brightness, contrast, saturation, clarity, sharpness, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the exposure down and you can see the sky start to develop and come back in. And the brightness, we'll go ahead and darken that down just a little bit as well. We'll bump up the contrast. We can bump up the saturation just a little bit if we'd like. And then the clarity filter actually is going to target the mid-tones and I'm gonna crank this all the way up to 100 and if you notice take a look at the cloud details and how they really pop out here let me go ahead and bring this back down to uh, on the clarity back down to about 2 and you can see that there's not you know the def excuse me the definition in the clouds just isn't there but if I really crank it up you can see them start to pop and come to life so that looks pretty good there we'll click back on the tool we'll click it again here we've got another uh, it's everything's reset and we can add another one to it so basically I'm going to come up to about center point here and I'm going to click and drag upwards. We'll grab the bottom handle, clicking and dragging down. And then I'm going to increase the exposure and just bring this up. And it's nice is we can always bring this up to blend in and make it look a little more uh, natural looking in the scene. So exposure looks pretty good there. Brightness is fine. I'll bump up the contrast some. We can always bump up the saturation bump up the clarity just a little bit and sharpness I'm not going to worry about because I'll bring the image into Photoshop and finish it off there. So just with those two filters you can really see that the image has come a long way. So I'm going to grab my basic panel I'm going to change my color temperature. I'm going to bring this down just a little bit because it was, it was September and it was kind of cold. So I'm going to bring this and cool off the image just a little bit. Maybe uh, bring the exposure down just a little bit and make it a little more dark and gloomy. We'll increase our blacks give it some more punch and then we can come in on our vibrance panel if you look at the rock we've got a lot of moss on here and there's not a lot of color in the scene it's you know like I said it's September temperatures are dropping colors are starting to change but if we bump up the vibrance we can really see that the moss starts to change colors and and pops and you can see the the colors in the rock itself and then we can also increase the saturation just a little bit here probably bring the vibrance down just a tad make it a little more natural looking and that's about it. I mean, in just a couple minutes, you were able to take a, a really dull, drab photo and give it some life and give it some pop. Obviously, I need to go in and clean up the dust specs, and I can do some more tweaking within uh, Photoshop itself, and we can export that out. But definitely give the graduated filter a try. It's a powerful tool. Uh, if you've got some dull, drab images and you want to bring some life back into your, as long as there's information in the sky, it can really pull some of that back. So uh, do give it a try.